Hey, hi, it's Meredith. I am here with our message for Monday, the 10th of August, 2020. We're using the gorgeous Bonefire Tarot for our message today. And back with our Know Ourselves, Know Yourself questions. First question. When are you at your best? <laughs> kind of like that ego question or... Yeah, the ego question. When are you not at your best? You know, some some points of the journey uh, don't look so pretty, but they are all valuable. So when are you at your best? You're always at your best. You're always doing your best too, don't you think? All right, next question. What gives meaning to your life? Mm. <laughs> the divine, the serendipity, the spontaneousness of the divine, and connection to the people I love. Yeah. How about you? Answer up, folks. Let's hear it. <laughs> All right. Let's get into our cards from the bottom of the deck. This is the potential theme in the day unfolding for us. Our first card is... <laughs> You know, this card, our beautiful Ace of Cups, has been ending the readings for us in the past few, the past few messages, I think. Uh, it's certainly making its presence known. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous card and one of my most favorite in tarot. This is the divine cosmic gift of pure, raw, loving bliss overflowing into our lives. We are meant to open our arms, our hearts, our minds wide to this energy and allow it to flow in because it's going to create a ripple and a broadcast within our sphere of influence that is absolutely magical, miraculous, and amazing. So that is our emphatic yes. You stand under that like it's a shower just raining down on you, more like a waterfall. <laughs> and take it. <laughs> allow it. Be it. Be this card. Okay, that's our first card. Ooh, and consecutive cards. Look at this. Now to the Two of Cups because, yes, this Ace of Cups is a blessing of creating more. It's flow. It's receiving. It's the now. And it is the oncoming as well. And it, it allows us a fair exchange of energy between ourselves, the divine all that is, and then everyone else in our world. It's also a beautiful message of love uh, for self-relationship. This is divine connection within self. And then this is beautiful connection within all of our relationships. And some of you definitely take this to the beloved level. I feel, I feel an offer here. Something softens while a bond deepens because that's another message of the two of cups and there's a blessing on a union of energy now this could be the project in which we spoke of in a prior reading i don't know if it was the weekend or friday thursday friday um but there is a unifying energy that has been showing up in the readings if you've been watching the dailies you know it you've heard it in repetition and i feel that here with the ace blessing the two this is a divine connection, and it may be divine connection between you and another, your beloved. First and foremost, it's divine connection within your own self. And then we, wow, look at this. Ten of Pentacles. This is, this is the fulfillment of something that we have been building, cultivating for a long period of life experience. And this is a pinnacle moment. So here it is. It's like a wave cresting in the day of holy wow and then you ask can it get any better than this and the ace of cups says oh indeed you just watch <laughs> those are fantastic do we want to turn over any of these other cards i'm not really sure but they shuffled out we'll take them right let's see what comes our first card is the high priestess beautiful you know when you see her that this is amplified intuitive gifts it's your inner oracle speaking your intuition is talking to you 
she's number two in the tarot so I'm drawn t back to the two of cups so I feel divine union deepening bond within self relationship and not just self relationship how we relate to our supernatural intuitive gifts so there's a bond that's deepening that's lovely so you might be saying things like wow I'm getting good at this <laughs> Uh, High Priestess, she also shows us or allows us to feel deeper into the periphery. And, you know, she's come along with the death card a lot in recent readings. Well, actually for months, really. About eight months now, she's been showing up at random with the death card. And... You know, the two of them working together have allowed us to see what's in the periphery, in the oncoming, so that we can lean deeper into that, you know, create a deepening bond here, blessed by the divine all in the Ace of Cups, which, again, a, a long period of life experience cultivating the Ten of Coins, which is, you know, abundance. And it's about the energy we have to share and to spare what we pass on to others in the way of... Our broadcast so here's the high priestess saying let's go a little further let's go a little deeper you thought this was deep hang on baby <laughs> we're going way in and coming with her is the Sun oh magnificent really you know the Sun it's the happiest card in tarot I do keep in mind when I turn it over though that sometimes the sunlight can be so bright and brilliant that we can't see it actually obscures our vision and sitting here with the high priestess that's not going to happen so you the high priestess is saying let's go deeper let's go further let's you know hang on for this ride because it's amazing and then you pull the happiest card in tarot right next to it <laughs> by the way i just have to throw in i haven't said it in a long time but this is like my meatloaf card i think the guy on this card looks a little bit like meatloaf I can't, I can't help but start singing those songs. Anyway, um, yeah, random moment there. But the high priestess says, let's go deeper, let's go further. And we might have said it another time, oh, but the light is so bright, I can't really see where I'm going. And the, the high priestess is reminding us that we can see, feel, sense, know with our super amplified, supernatural, intuitive gifts. It won't matter that the happiest card it could be in obscuring our vision because we are in such a state of beautiful, loving bliss that we can have blind faith and trust in our own selves. But it's not really blind because we've got the high priestess. Ooh, gorgeous. So let's just say yay and lucky us right now. And then we have the lovers. Look at the major arcana on the table. Three of them now. <laughs> That's awesome. The lover's choice, decision, and again, now we've got the two of cups, the ace of cups, and the lover's. Absolutely, this is a personal message for some of you out there regarding relationships to others. Uh, the lover's, though, is a card of making choice and decision, and it's a choice and decision to be in deep connection to self-relationship. The divine masculine, the divine feminine in harmony and a choice to be made a decision to be made and there's the sun again in the background and it's like do I lean deeper into this well heck yeah <laughs> there's tension though on the lover's card when we turn it over because we haven't quite made a choice yet and once the choice is pardon hiccups once the choice is made all that tension releases and we just go with the flow so it's beautiful that we have so much loving magnificent support in all of these cards leading up to the lovers because it says let it go just let go and make your choice and lean into the happy the happiest cards in tarot there is a waterfall of love right there for you <laughs> coming with is the king of cups wow even more intuition so now we have divine feminine in the high priestess divine masculine in the king of cups and they are both 
of the intuitive feeling realm. Fabulous. You know, with the High Priestess, there's another message on her card that she is a master at discretion. She knows what to share and when to share it. She never overshares. She never undershares. It's always just right. And I feel that for some of you, you have been using discretion while you have been making a choice. It's not something or a decision. You've not been talking about it with anyone. You've really just been in beautiful divine, in the beautiful divine harmony of self relationship. But I feel that some of you are about to offer your cup to someone else, to a beloved. There's a healing of the heart that has gone on. The King of Cups brings that. Look at the beautiful sun in the background there, too. I feel that he is further confirmation of a wave cresting within the day where we just bust out with our happiness. And at long last, we share and make offer of the love that we are to, to our sphere of influence. And it has a beautiful effect on... I, f I do feel a significant relationship here. It's between two people. And it started with you long ago. And you're in the healing of your own heart. So now you have a choice to share your whole heart. Unrestricted. And you may be deciding to share that specifically with a very special person. All right. Next. Ooh. <laughs> because seriously... <laughs> Look at the sun yet again now in the Ten of Cups. Wow. That is the happiness, the joy, the bliss, the love that we have been putting on our foundation. And this is confirmation of success and victory. And yes, you have the Ten. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups along with the Ace, the Two of Cups, the Sun, the Lovers. Jeez. It just, it's so, it's so beautiful a gift for us. Hmm. I actually, I feel deep emotion over this or deep feeling over this in the happiest of ways. I actually feel a little humbled looking at this. It's that beautiful. <laughs> and there he is, the death card. Yes. And perfectly placed in the reading. And here again with the High Priestess. The Death card, Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, this is confirmation of clearing the clutter, clearing the debris, clearing whatever was in the periphery to make way for all of this beauty right here. And the Death card is the ultimate in confirmation that you have been successful with bringing things to a close and allowing for what's new to flow in. And not only what's new, what is new of your choosing? Constructed by you, built by you. <laughs> wow, fantastic. And yet another major arcana on the table. And then five of coins. I am delighted to see that card there because it's confirmation of what we let go. I tell you all the time that fives and tarot are unstable and that's not a negative thing. That is not a bad thing. Instability allows us to seek and discover stability and in the doing of that we set ourselves free. We liberate ourselves from whatever has kept us outside of our own selves, outside of our own heart. and. You know, she's got a fire right here in the heart space and it's small, it's flickering. She could go in there. She could have more fire, warmth and security beyond this door, but it comes at too high a price and we've all paid it many times over until we reached a point where we said, absolutely no, I will nearly freeze to death out on this step before I go in there and compromise my heart again. And I don't mean compromise your heart negatively. I mean accept less than you've been creating. You know, we all get weary at points within certain legs of our journey. And this looks tempting. This may as well be the devil card right here. That temptation to go in and get warm. But it also means a surrender or 
a yield that we are not willing to make because it means we'll be settling for less. We'll be taking crumbs instead of the feast. And over here, front loaded on the whole part of the reading is the feast. And it's being served up to you on a silver platter. So why would you go in there? This is confirmation of why we don't. And this is a, yes, thank goodness I didn't do that because I trusted myself. I had deep faith in myself and my relationship to myself so that I could create 10 of cups, ace of cups, two of cups, 10 of coins, the sun. Yeah, excellent. And coming with that, it, beautiful, three of wands. Well, that just seals it for us because we've stepped across the threshold, our threshold, not some other tempting doorway opened for us that said hey you know what hang half your heart out here and we'll just gobble up all that goodness and you can sit there with half a heart <laughs> no 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 we we crossed our own threshold and started to to build in a new way that's what the three of wands is all about in the two of wands you cross the gateway into a new realm of experience we created a brand new realm of experience and it is abundant it is overflowing it is serendipitously miraculously fulfilling and we're creating more of that beautiful wow i feel really passionate about this reading okay angel answers <laughs> our first is ask your angels yeah if you need a little more guidance when it comes to the lovers and how you are deciding and choosing, lean into your guides, your angels, your ancestors, spirit, the divine all, and offer it up to divine order. Trust, know that divine order has it all sorted out and you can just come into alignment with it, with grace and with ease. As you <laughs> beautifully let go five of coins because as you let go you set yourself free that's why the death card is just so profound in this reading you offer up what requires letting go and the death card says yes and at the same time here welcome to this beauty <laughs> next we have emphatic no this is not a card we typically see but it is beautiful in this reading because it goes perfectly with our five here our five of pentacles. No, we're not going in there. No, we're not forking over half our heart. Mm -mm. We're bringing our whole heart to this beautiful feast. And then peaceful resolution. Yes, because what's beyond this gateway, we already know it. We already feel it. We're already building on it. It's peaceful resolution for having faith and trust in our own selves to create all of this. Say yes to all of this. All right. Uh, soul truth self-awareness guidance deck our question of the day <laughs> on whom am I placing blame right now hmm that could be you you could be blaming yourself uh, you could be blaming someone else this is a card that invites you to step up and take responsibility for yourself own it blame no one for anything see your participation in all things and have loving kindness and compassion for yourself if you are at odds with this in any way. And then, <laughs> from the Divine Energy Oracle, love yourself, absolutely. <laughs> Address your addictions. Hmm. There could be an addiction to blaming. There could be an addiction to a thought pattern. Something that repeats for us the vulture thought, the hamster wheel. Take a look at that and again, bring loving, kindness, and compassion to it. Non-judgment. Just accept that occasionally we find ourselves here. And when we do, it's an invitation to love ourselves more, deeper, better. Last, we have live your soul. Not a role. Yeah. Be the beautiful soul that you are. Let that shine. It won't be difficult. I mean, look at these cards. Come on. <laughs> We're already doing it. Woohoo! All right, everybody. As always, thank you so much for watching, for tuning in, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget the August readings are up on the channel for your viewing pleasure. And happiness, peace, joy, love. Yeah, a little bit more of the Ace of Cups.
<laughs> Namaste.